fiery horse with the speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a hearty high silver, the Lone Ranger. When the western United States was first opened to settlers, the masked rider of the plains led the fight for law and order. Indian and white man alike turned to him for help, and high old silver came to be the battle cry of justice. Now return with us once more to those thrilling days when the West was young, and adventure lay at the end of every trail. The Lone Ranger rides again. Come on, silver! We're heading for Thundercloud Camp in the hills! Someone's waiting for us! Chief Thundercloud had summoned the most influential members of his tribe to confer with him. The threat of war was in the air, and as the braves debated, Tonto, the faithful Indian companion of the Lone Ranger, sat at Thundercloud's right hand. The masked man waited outside the chief's lodge while the meeting was in progress, and two other white men waited with him. One was Bart Daly, bearded and powerful, and the other his partner, Shorty Crane small man with shifty eyes. As our story opens, Bart is trying to mount a splendid brown and white horse tethered near the lodge. Blast the clitter. He almost got me that time. Better give up, Bart. You can't ride. I'll him. fix him. Give me your quirt. What do you aim to do? I'm going to whip the temper right out of him. Here you are. Now then, take that. Ah, you watch me. Here's another fast. Hey, leave me be. Fight that horse again, and I'll take that quirt and use it on you. What are you buttoning in for, stranger? That's my business. I'll Careful. Catch you. Look at that draw. Why I'll you? use these guns if you don't do as I say. Uh, I was only having some fun. Whose horse is this? He belongs to old Thundercloud. Red Crow was telling us that nobody but the chief could ride him, so we thought as how we'd find out for ourselves. I'll ride the critter yet. Not unless Chief Thundercloud tells you you can. Come on, bud. Forget about the horse for now. Let's see how things are coming along in the lodge. Stranger? I'll lay you ten to one, your redskin pa. Don't argue them engines out of going on the war path. Yes? Red Crow aims to make war. And old Thundercloud don't dare go against him. I'd like to know just why you two are so anxious for Thundercloud to declare war on Grey Wolf. <laughs> I'll just bet you would. I have an idea. Red Crow would like to be chief in place of Thundercloud. He's the best man, ain't he? Red Crow is younger and stronger, but he hasn't the wisdom to be a leader. Yeah? He wants to take the Braves on the warpath to gain more influence with the tribe. If he leads them successfully, he may be chosen chief instead of Thundercloud. It's a good scheme if it works. And it was you two who gave Red Crow an excuse for going on the warpath. We just told what we seen. He was right close by when Grey Wolf's Braves killed Standin' Bear. Then why didn't you help him? Then lose our scalps. Not by our blame, sir. Yeah, we ain't taking no chances like that. No, I didn't think you would. Hey, just what do you mean by if that? If you're hit, mm, that... What's that? It sounds like them engines are having it hot and heavy. Listen. Hey, make no leader shooter. Any time in a tello, 
Manic Tap. <laughs> that was Red Crow. He's a real convincing talker. He'll argue them into going on the war path. And if he does, hundreds of braves from both Thunderclouds and Grey Wolf's tribes will die. That ain't none of our lookouts. Jack, who cares about a pack of engines? Hey, what we... Pa. Oh, Pata, Tiki. Who's that? Tonto speaking. Oh, Kaio, Miata, Kola, Topo. Stranger, they don't sound so enthusiastic for whatever your pod was saying. Tonto is Thundercloud's friend. He doesn't want the tribe to go on the warpath. Then he's due for a disappointment. Abela, Kimotake. That's old Thundercloud now. Kimon, Rodan, Lita, Monto, Lapne. The meeting's over, and they're coming out. Tonto. What white man want? What happened? Will they go on the warpath? Chief Thundercloud first send message to Grey Wolf. A message? Uh, Thundercloud say, if Grey Wolf give up bad brave, let kill him stand and pair, there be peace. Him not give up bad brave, there be war. Grey Wolf won't give up them braves for Thundercloud to punish? This means war for sure. We not know. Red Crow's responsible for this. Thundercloud doesn't want war. Not right, Tonto. Do many of the tribe agree with Red Crow? There are plenty. Who is Thundercloud sending with the message? Him not say. Here comes Thundercloud and Red Crow now. Chief Thundercloud. Oh. I've heard what you decided. Isn't there some other way to settle this? Me not want trouble. Other Indians want them. Maybe Grey Wolf send braves kill Standing Bear. Then we have peace. Grey Wolf has a lot of pride, Thundercloud. I'm afraid he'll never do it. And Red Crow... Go on warpath. Kill him, Grey Wolf. Has the message been sent yet? Thunder Cloud want him Tonto go. Ah, uh, Tonto do that. Tell him, Grey Wolf, when sun go down two weeks from now, tribe go on warpath. Uh, me? Tell him. Thunder Cloud, you mean that if Tonto doesn't return with Standing Bear's killers by sundown two weeks from today, Red Crow will be sent on the warpath? Ah, uh, that's right. But Grey Wolf's village is far off. Tonto should be given more time. Red Crow, plenty angry. Him not wait him longer. Hey, Silver. What you do? I'm going with you. Perhaps together we can persuade Grey Wolf to give in. Not right. Here, white fella. Thundercloud, plenty glad you go. We'll do the best we can, Chief Thundercloud. That doggone horse of yours come near to biting me, Thundercloud. You stay away. That's a fine horse you have, Thundercloud. Him plenty good horse. I say no one but you can ride him. Tonto ride him. Him like Tonto. Yes? Yep. Okay. <laughs> we'll have to get started, Tonto. Uh, not right, Thundercloud. We have your promise to wait the full two weeks before you do anything. Two weeks. When sun go down, graves go on warpath. Come, Tonto. Get him up, white fellow. Get him up. Both Bart and Shorty knew that Red Crow's ambition would never be satisfied until he became chief. And they used this knowledge to further their own ends. We see Red Crow, Bart, and Shorty as they ride slowly toward Thundercloud's village after a hunting trip among the surrounding hills. Red Crow, if I was you, I'd make darn sure that Thundercloud don't get the chance to crawl out of going to war. Mm. He'll do it if he can. And you won't never be chief if you don't lead the Braves on the warpath. You've got to prove you're a real warrior. Red Crow, plenty brave warrior. Me take him plenty scalp. You will if you go after Gray Wolf. But you won't if the masked fella comes back here with the engines that done the killing. Gray Wolf, not send him brave. Ah, you can't be sure. If the masked fella's a friend of Gray Wolf's, he might be able to argue him into it. Uh. And there's something else to consider. What if Grey Wolf should decide it'd be easy to send a couple of braves here for punishment than to go to war himself? Me not think of that. Well, we thought of it. We're friends of yours, Red Crow. That's why we want to help you out. Well, there's plenty of engines in your tribe that'd like to see you, Chief, instead of Thundercloud. What you want them, Red Crow, do? Well, we got a scheme we was talking over last night. It'll work. Only we need your help. Huh? It's like this. If the masked fella ain't here by sundown on the day set, Thundercloud will have to let you go on the warpath. 
He gave you his promise. Him not break him promise. But what you want to do is to make sure the masked fella don't get back. You got them planned? How many engines are there will do what you say? There are plenty. <laughs> then you should fix it so the masked fella meets up with an accident on his way back. <laughs> A real serious accident. Mm. You can have one of your engine parts keep watch from the top of Lookout Hill. You can see for miles from there. And then when you get where the masked fella's been sighted, Send some of your friends to stop him. That heap good plan. And you'll know blame well the tribe will go on the warpath. And after you've made yourself a reputation, you can come back and kick old Thunder Cloud out. You'll have everybody eaten out of your hands. Beat Grey Wolf and the whole tribe will be for you. Red Crow, too. That's the way to talk. If everything works out the way we figure, that's just one favor I aim to ask you, Red Crow. What that? Give me that paint horse that belongs to Thunder Cloud. Outside of that white horse, the masked fella rides. That paints the swellest piece of horse flesh I ever seen. Him not let him, you ride him. Red Crow, you give me that horse, and I'll ride the critter if I have to break every bone in his carcass to do it. Tonto raced toward Gray Wolf's village. Hour after hour, day after day, they urged their great horses forward. But the distance was farther than they'd expected. More than a week had passed before they reached the end of the trail. Only four days remained for them to get back when they finally stood before Gray Wolf and delivered their message. And so, Gray Wolf, there will be war unless you send Thundercloud the braves who killed Standing Bear. Me not kill. Two white men said they saw your braves do the shooting. Them bad white men. Yes, they looked like outlaws, but Red Crow and Thundercloud believed their story. Them shoot em Standing Bear. What, that? Me tell truth. You mean Bart and Shorty did it? That's right. I wonder. Then that must be why they encouraged Red Crow to go on the warpath. They must have been afraid you knew the truth. But if war broke out, the truth would be covered up. Ah. If only there was some way to prove what you told us. Me prove them? You can? Come. Where are you going? Go to Teepee. That one over there? Ah. Me show you. Come along, Tonto. Mm, me come. Your proof is in that Teepee, Grey Wolf? That's right. But what is it? You know him standing bare? Tonto's seen him, but I haven't. I only know that he was one of the best warriors in Thundercloud's tribe. Tonto no standing bare. Him good friend. Tonto, here, Teepee. You look inside. Oh, that standing bear. How, oh, Tonto? How, oh, Tonto? Plenty glad see you. Me glad see him you. Then Barton Shorty lied. You weren't killed, standing bear. Bad white man shoot him, but me not die. Me find standing bear wounded bad. Bring him standing bear to village. Make him well. But why did Barton Shorty try to kill you, Standing Bear? Them make him big mistake. Then come here, steal him gold, run fast. Then bad white men see Standing Bear. Think of him from my tribe. Shoot him. And now Standing Bear can prove that no one from your tribe was guilty, Grey Wolf. Uh. Are you well enough to ride now, Standing Bear? Me, ride? We've got to get back to Thundercloud's village before Red Crow can take the braves on the warpath. That long way off. They're not time. Almost ten days are gone. Only a little more than four remain. That's too little. We might make it if we cut across the mountains on the way back. You no do that. Even Indian not ride that way. I know it's dangerous. They're bad river. Deep canyon. Plenty loose stone. But we have no choice. Maybe you get killed. We'll have to try it. Come. If we follow the regular trail, we'll be too late. Standing Bear, are you willing to go that way? Ah, uh, me too. Where's your horse? There, horse. Here's your hey, white fella. You do plenty brave things. We don't want warfare just to satisfy Red Crow's ambition. Steady, old fellow. Uh, Me, tell him, Thundercloud, you good friend, Grey Wolf. Me want your tribe, my tribe friend, always. Uh, Let's go! Uh, get him up, white uh, fella! The curtain falls on the first act of our thrilling Lone Ranger drama. Before the next exciting scenes, Please permit us to pause for just a few moments. Thank you. 
Now to continue our story. White outlaws accused Gray Wolf of being responsible for the death of Standing Bear. Red Crow, ambitious to become chief, wanted to go on the war path immediately. But Thundercloud insisted that Gray Wolf be given two weeks in which to surrender the braves responsible for the killing. The Lone Ranger, however, carrying this message to Gray Wolf, discovered that the outlaws themselves had shot Standing Bear, but that he was not dead. He had been rescued by Gray Wolf. And now the start of a dangerous race against time, as we see the masked man, Tonto, and Standing Bear heading away from Gray Wolf's village. Four days to get back, Tonto, and one of the most dangerous trails in the West to follow. It's plenty bad. At least a dozen men have been killed attempting it. Uh, but it's our only chance. Come on! Get him up, boy! Get him up! Get him up. All that day, the three men rode and far into the night, pausing only to refresh their weary horses. At the first sight of dawn, they were in the saddle again. Soon, they met their first obstacle, the White Rapids River, swollen with melting snow and tumbling down from the mountains at express train speed. Oh, 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 oh. We've got to cross the river, Tonto. Uh, Can your horse make it standing back? Him try. Then come on. All right, old fellow. It's up to you now. Three horses plunged into the swirling waters while the current fought to drag them under. Silver, his powerful legs working like pistons, took the lead, responding valiantly to the masked man's shouts of encouragement. Come on, Silver. You can make it, old fellow. The bank isn't far now. Almost exhausted, the Lone Ranger, Tonto, and Standing Bear reached the farther bank at last. On the bank of the river, they rested until their trembling horses had regained their strength. Then, at the command of the masked man, they resumed their race against time. Yep. Now for the mountain, Tonto. Uh-huh. The farther they penetrated into the mountains, the more rugged and dangerous became the trail. They skirted precipices where a misstep would have plunged them to certain death. Again, they found their way blocked where landslides had piled great mounds of shale and loose boulders. Careful, Silver. It's a thousand foot drop below us. Good boy. Come on, Tonto. Standing there. We've got to hurry. Once, when Standing Bear's horse lost his footing, his master's life was saved only by the quick action of Whitefellow, whose powerful shoulders pushed the wiry little Indian pony back to safety. Get him up, Whitefellow! Get him up! Another time, a threatening rumble sounded far above them. A landslide tore a jagged furrow down the face of the mountain. As though sensing the danger, the three horses plunged forward, necks outstretched, hoofs striking a frantic tattoo against the uncertain footing. For a moment as long as eternity, it seemed that they must be buried under tons of hurtling rocks and earth. But with a final burst of speed, the faithful animals carried their riders to safety, while behind them the trail was torn from its granite foundation and ground to dust. Come on, Silver! third day found them face to face with their greatest hazard. A canyon split the trail in two. A canyon so deep that the sun penetrated its depth for less than an hour each day. A canyon whose sides were so steep that the masked man and his companions were forced to dismount and lead their horses down the perilous descent. Easy does it, Silver. Not too fast, old boy. At times, the path fell away so abruptly they were unable to keep their balance and went slipping and sliding downward. The men grasping at the stunted vegetation to check their speed. The horses digging their hoofs into the crumbling earth. When 
finally they reached the bottom, then began the task of scaling the farther side. They forced their way up slowly, foot by foot, their bodies scarred and bruised, their breath coming in tortured gasps. Give me your hand, Tonto. This is a bad place here. Mm, plenty bad. How was the white fellow making it? Him. Him will come. Yep. Uh, there you are. Creel, keep on. I think the worst of it's over. At the top, after hours of climbing, when every step seemed the last they could possibly achieve, they threw themselves panting on the cool grass. Their horses stood beside them with bent heads, completely exhausted. Exhausted though he was, the Lone Ranger drew himself wearily to his feet. We've got to go on, Tonto. Hip. We've less than one day left. Huh? Tonto, ready? How do you feel standing there? Me plenty tired. But me, ride? Good. From here on, it's steady riding. But if we're late, men will pay for it with their lives. Get him up, Tonto. Get him up, Tonto. In Thundercloud Village, preparations for war went on while the deadline drew closer. On the afternoon of the last day, certain that the masked man could not arrive in time, the tribal drums began beating out their primitive challenge while the warriors circled and stamped the earth in the frenzy of the war dance. But in the midst of this, a rider spurred his horse into the village and dismounted. Red Crow! Red Crow man with masks, him come. Huh? Him still far off. Me see from hill. That bad. Him with Tonto, other Indians. Do no other Indians. Them too far off. See good. Do no tell them thundercloud this. Me not tell them. Go get him of the brave. Stop a man with mask. You hear? Uh, me do. Now go. Akawana, <laughs> Hunda. Hunda. man and his companions did not know that still another obstacle, the most dangerous of all, lay ahead. But as they raced toward the narrow pass by which their trail led, a tense band of Indian braves, followers of Red Crow, waited for them with leveled weapons. Come on, Silver! Get him off, white fellow! Here's the best, Silver! We haven't far to go now! That's plenty And then, come on, party! Them friends, Red Crow! We can't let them stop us! Come on, old fellow! Cast them! Cartilo! Da mine pake! Dono, what's the matter? Young fellow! Back in the village, Thundercloud had not noticed the secret departure of those braves friendly to Red Crow. The old chief, astride his splendid paint horse, silently watched the war dance while Bart and Shorty stood close to Red Crow. You think you got it fixed so the masked man can't get here, Red Crow? Him not come. He better not. Bart, look at them engines. They're sure getting in the right frame of mind to help themselves to some scalp. <laughs> They'll be mighty tough customers for Grey Wolf to handle. Soon me go on warpath. Claim right you will, Red Crow. And when you come back, don't forget about that horse of thunderclouds you promised me. Me not forget. I'd give a heap to be riding that critter. Oh, no. What's the matter? What did they stop the war dance by? Look! Well, I'll be... The masked man! And Tonto and another engine. Shorty, huh? Something's gone wrong. We've got to get out of here. Run for the horses. Gray Wolf found him and kept him until he was well again. It's a lie. It ain't so. We got this. What you say? Thundercloud, these are the men who shot Standing Bear. But we brought him back with us. Ole Manikta. We sent a glad to see Standing Bear. But 
Yes, he's more his soul from gold from Grey Wolf. They thought standing there was after them and tried to kill him. Uh, they came here. When they discovered Red Crow wanted to be chief in your place, they said Grey Wolf had shot Standing Bear. They believed if there was war, their guilt would never be discovered. Red Crow won't be chief? It's true. Standing Bear can explain that. What matter, white fella? He was wounded, Thundercloud. You wait. Tonapa Melpela. Lito. Isn't that your horse, Thundercloud? Ah, uh, him fine horse. But what are you doing? You find out. Tonto. Uh -huh. What you want, Chief Thundercloud? You heap good friend, Thundercloud. You help Thundercloud plenty. Tonto plan to do that. Me keep white feller here. Take him good care, white feller. Make him strong like before. You'll take care of white fellow for us until he's well again? Ah, uh, that's right. But I don't... You listen. Tonto, take him horse of Thundercloud. Him best horse in tribe. Tonto, take him for all time. Tonto, thank you plenty. <laughs> <laughs> him make friends of Tonto. He <laughs> likes you, Kimosabe. Look at him. Uh, Except for silver, I've never seen a better horse anywhere. Uh, him plenty good. You stay here now? We'll only stay overnight, Thundercloud. Silver needs the rest. Ah. And then in the morning, Tonto and I will start for town with Bart and Shorty. And they stole from Grey Wolf, shot Standing Bear, and try to start a war between the two tribes. But when the law gets through, they'll do no more harm for a long time to come. you have just heard is a copyrighted feature of the Lone Ranger Incorporated. <laughs>